Another letter from our mysterious Sarah. Canes, huh? Are these two a couple in their twilight years? Addressed to you. I'm sick of them. Allow me, my beloved. I hope this letter finds you well. I still think back on the time I spent waiting for you with the Mughals. Although I was sad then, I now recall the hope I clutched tightly in my chest. And to this day, that hope continues to light my path. Perhaps waiting is one of the many responsibilities of a noble family's daughter. I still wait, forever and always. Yours, Sarah. <sighs> All the time we've spent together has shown me so much and filled me with joy. Alas, I had forgotten my purpose. You'll stay behind? Yes. And that letter from before, you wrote it to me? <laughs> You're angry at me? I don't get it. Must I say it aloud? It pains me to think that there are other Sarahs in your life who think of you. Awaiting your safe return. Yeah. And so I must fight alone once more. Although comparing Fox and Sarah, I know which one I would gladly lay my life down for. I could think of worse things than seeing a smile of contentment on her face. Was this too foretold? Is this my destiny? If someone had predicted how she thinks and feels, and how I respond and act. Cruel place.
My head swam when I first awoke in Palamecia, and I could remember nothing, nothing but my own name. I could only move forward on the path laid out before me, an ancient prophecy. If I failed, I would falter and stagnate like the many blanks who came before me. Yet I succeeded, I survived, and have come all this way. And through it all, I earned Sarah's trust. But I never stopped to think about what I was doing. I blindly followed the prophecy. Yet in the end, is it a prophecy worth fulfilling? Master, I know that no one can take Mog's place, but I'm here to serve you just the same. I'm Mog, Capo. Hi. I, I know everything about you and your travels that Mog knew. So I hope that you can think of me in the same way. Not that easy. I guess it isn't. Then let me show you that I can be a good companion. After all, we Moogles love to be loved, Kapo. all this delusional excitement when she was actually here. Why, I would be loath to intrude. Surely you don't think I'm so uncouth as to make myself the third wheel. And I thought you were upset that I gave all my love to Sarah and had none left for you. Well, aren't we the jokester today? Of course you and Sarah were meant to be together. That's what the prophecy says, right? And as for me, I'm just a simple fairy, bound to your service whether I like it or not. So, it doesn't matter to me one little bit if you're swapping spit with her. I don't care! Do whatever you want! We're not swapping spit. Good to know you're still your normal, insufferable self. Insufferable? What are you? Just say, Echo, all I need is you. In that flat tone of yours. Come on now! Out with it! Echo, all I need is you.
I get it now, Kapo. All ready to go. Kapo, Kapo, Kapo. Sarah sent a message back to the castle. Everyone's glad she's safe, Kapo. Now their hearts are filled with hope once more. That was easy. They had looked so despondent when Sarah left. Well, there's another reason they're happy, Kapo. They don't sense the presence of chaos anymore. Good to hear. Unfortunately, no. It's only a matter of time before he comes again. He's seen all the hard work that you've done gathering the runes, Kapo. And so, he's after you. Then we fight. But you're not strong enough to defeat him yet, Kapo. Why not? Because your heart isn't in it. You need to be single-minded of purpose. <sighs> the warrior of light is to rise from the depths of the darkest night. Oh, <laughs> 